That's right. You are not a mistake. As a matter of fact, the Lord tells us, Jeremiah 1 verse 5, Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Before you were born, I set you apart. I appointed you as a prophet to the nations. That's right. To believe that you are not a mistake is to believe that God does not make any mistakes at all. I bring this up today because I see it everywhere I go. Um, and it's not just where I live or in my surrounding areas. I see it on the news. I hear it from you know, people from other places that it's very, it's, a, it's, it's, it's as big as a pandemic, uh, really, when you think about it. And what I mean by that is a lot of people um, of all sorts of ages are beginning to have this mindset that there is no purpose in life. That life is expendable and that we are here but what's the purpose and I um, I wanted to bring up this subject today because it's it's really taken effect like I said in our youth um, in our young adults in our middle age adults and then a lot of our older adults are starting to feel like life is useless, especially since the pandemic and just everything that's going on in the world around us. I don't have to really get into that because everybody has access to the news. So, you know, it's, it's, it's always been a tough world. Even whenever I was before the pandemic, even before, way before 9-11, uh, growing up as a teenager, you know, I, I dealt with normal growing up things, getting on my feet, learning what life was, becoming involved with certain friends, learning that certain friends weren't good for me, learning that certain friends were better for me than other friends, you know, learning the difference between false and true people. You know, I came across many people that promised me things and it turned out to be false. Uh, you know, even the the dating scene, I had to learn. My friend scene, I had to learn. Uh, learning how to do things on my own without my parents' help or my friends' help, I had to learn that on my own. And a lot of this goes back to uh, my, my Bible preaching. Like I stated in earlier videos that my brother was a Baptist preacher growing up, so I got a lot more things taught to me than, you know, my friends, but I still decided to live the life as a non-Christian growing up as a teenager and even into my adult life. And just being in that environment, looking back, uh, there is a sense of, well, what do I do? If there's really no meaning to this life, if there's really no purpose for me being here, then what is the meaning of me being here? If I have to do or endure all these pains, then what's the use of me even living? And that's what we find ourselves into now, is what's the use in living? Another verse that I would like to bring your way is by Jeremiah 9, verse 11. And it states, For I know the plans I have for you declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. And that is another pleasant reminder that you are not a failure. That you do matter. And that believing that God does not make mistakes, you can believe that you are his creation and it even says so in Jeremiah 9 verse 11 it even starts out for I know the plans I have for you declares the Lord 
and it even goes on to say plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. In John 13, verses 34 and 35, Jesus reminds us that he has given us a new command. And it is a new command I give you. Love one another as I have loved you. So you must love one another. By this everyone will know that you are my disciples, if you love one another. And I love that verse simply because it puts everything right there. I mean, I, I believe that that verse speaks for itself. That not only can you believe that you are not a mistake, that God has made you for a purpose, and that God does not make mistakes, but he also wants you to be happy. When you really dig into this verse, John 13 verses 34 and 35, you begin to see things. And one of the things that you see is that he wants you to love one another. He wants you to feel the love and to be loved and for you to love. Not just be created. So it's one thing to believe that yes, I know that I'm here for a purpose and yes, I know that God created me and he doesn't make any mistakes so I know that I am on purpose. But what now? And we look at this. A new command I give you, love one another. Well, what happens when people love one another? They're happy. Their stress level goes down. They begin to have more connection with one another and also learn how to connect with other people. You see, it's, it's been proven, and you can look it up on the internet, that when you love and you get love, that it lowers stress and anxiety. It lowers blood pressure because you're not always at end and doing things that raises your blood pressure on that sense. And plus it just, it relieves a lot of tension when you actually love someone and they know you love them and they return that love back to you. It's beautiful. And the third and final verse that I would like to bring up on this is, yes, John 3, 16. I know this verse gets used quite a bit. As a matter of fact, it probably gets used way too much for way too many things. But I believe that it's a good fit here because not only are you created by God and God doesn't make mistakes and that he loves you and he wants you to be at peace by loving people and having them love you but I wanted to end it in you know in in saying that this is how much God loves you this is how much he didn't just create you for a purpose and want you to feel loved and get loved and love (laughs) but he really truly loves you like he loved you even before the creation of anything He knew that he would love you. And that comes from John 3.16. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. I mean, I I can't say enough for that verse. And I know that you've you've heard it and studied it in, 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 in Bible school and in regular church, and you've heard it millions and billions of times so I'll I'll make this short but I just wanted to give this verse up here because he gave his only begotten son how many people do you know that would give their only son for you for someone else and also to add to that that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life And he's done all this for you. He created you. He wanted you to to be loved and to love. And he wanted you to know that he loves you so much that he gave his son. But now he's making a way 
for you to spend eternity in heaven with him. And that's, there's much, much more that you can get out of that one, one simple verse there. But God loves you. He created you. He doesn't make any mistakes. And if he didn't want you here, simply put, you would not be here. And I know that this is this is taking over the world and it, it's a serious situation and it'll definitely come up later in a lot of my other videos but I wanted to I wanted to start right now and just saying that if anyone out there is feeling like they don't matter and that life is expendable and what's the use in even being here if all you do is just live and die take the verses that I've given here and read them out loud to yourself and also look up other verses talk to friends go to your local church you don't really even have to take my word for it you can just get other people that you trust that you know that has read the Bible and that has you know if you know any Christian friends ask them thank you for giving me your time please don't forget to like and to share this video so other people that you know can get this information and until next time